Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to enroll Riggy user from Google Ads lead. So here I am an online educator and online course provider. I am managing the content of the course as well as the users with the help of Riggy. That is an amazing learning management platform. Now to promote my business and my courses, I am using Google Ads. So I am running an ad campaign on my Google Ads and I have also created a lead gen form. My objective is that whenever an interested student is going to register themselves by submitting that lead gen form, automatically that person should be enrolled as a user in Riggy. Now to automate this entire process we will have to set up a connection between Google Ads and Riggy and that we are going to do without any coding and any programming skills simply with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step for your business for that let me take you all towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. So I am going to show you in this video step by step that how we can automatically add Google Ads lead as a user in Riggy. So I'm managing my courses with the help of Riggy and I'm managing the users as well over here. In order to promote the courses which I'm selling, I'm using Google Ads. So I've created an ad campaign and also a lead gen form. Now I want that as soon as an interested student is going to submit this lead gen form with their name, their email, their phone number, automatically that person should be enrolled as a user in Riggy for a particular course. Now to automate this entire process I will have to set up the connection between Google Ads and Riggy that is an amazing learning management platform. Okay now for building this connection because they are not directly connected we have to use Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to automate all of our daily repetitive tasks without the requirement of any coding and any programming skills. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here we can find two options sign in and sign up for free. In case if you are already an existing user just click on sign in to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button. It will help you to create a free new account just in two minutes. Also, when you will do that, you're going to receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user here, I'm going to click on sign in currently. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. Now it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Over here we can find all the workflows which we have created and to save the workflows we can also create separate folders over here. Now to create a new workflow let's click on this create workflow option. As we have done that a dialog box is appeared in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow so first of all let me provide a name over here. Enroll Riggy user from Google Ads lead. After giving the name to my workflow, then I'm going to select the folder over here. So you can see I have list of folders among these folders because I am creating this automation that is related to learning management system. So automations for learning management will be my folder. Then let's click on create. As we have done that, you can see a new screen is open in front of us. The screen contains two extremely important windows, trigger and action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles, or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation works. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says to this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now, let's suppose my objective is that as soon as a new lead is received through Google Ads, automatically that lead should be added as a user in Riggy. So for that, here I'm going to take, let's say, Google Ads in trigger and Riggy in action. When we are going to build the connection between these two applications, we can see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the lead is received through Google Ads then only the user will be created in Riggy otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action let us start creating our automation step by step. To start with the process first of all let's go towards our trigger step and let us select our trigger application over here. So our trigger application will be Google Ads. Then we have to select the trigger event. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start. So you can see we have two options over here. Because I have created the lead gen form through which I want to generate the lead. So new lead form entry will be my trigger event. 
as soon as a new lead will be received through form entry then the response of that lead should be captured over here and with that response the workflow should get triggered okay that too instantly how we are going to do that for that we have to set up the connection between google ads and public connect and to do that you can see we have received a webhook url so we have to insert this webhook url inside our google ad campaign which we have created and as we will do that as soon as the form will be submitted the response will be captured so by following the given steps we have to do that but i am going to show you each and every step so do not worry let's copy the webhook url then when we will insert this webhook url inside google ads then it will act as a bridge for transferring the data of every new form inside pably connect okay so now after copying the webhook url i will take you towards my ad campaign so this is the test ad campaign that i am going to use in order to show you how to set up this connection but you have to do the same things in the real campaign as well okay so these are the fields which i want in my form i have already selected them first name last name phone number and the email so after adding the fields in the form and completing it when we will scroll down we will see the option of lead delivery so let's select that and over here you can see the option of webhook url so let's paste the url over here which we have copied from public connect then in the key option you just have to give a name to your webhook so let's say i'm going to give a name as new test webhook just a random name and over here because this is a test campaign which i'm using so i could not send the response over real lead here therefore i will set up the connection and i will click on send test data to send the test response of a lead towards babli connect so after inserting the webhook url and giving the key to the webhook let's click on send test data as we have done that the test data is sent successfully on this webhook url this webhook url inside pably connect so let's wait for the response and yes here we can see that the test response is captured again because i am using a test campaign in google ads this is a test response which i have received but in a similar manner once you will set up the connection between google ads and pably connect when you will be running a live campaign when the lead is going to submit the lead gen form the response will be captured of that actual lead okay so here in the response currently we have received the first name of the lead that is the test first name the test last name test number and a test email by using this response only we are going to further continue our workflow and because we have received the response this means our connection between google ads and pably connect is absolutely successful after setting up the connection now we have to create the user in riggy so let's set up the connection between riggy and pably connect for doing that let's go towards our action step and let us select our action application as riggy then we have to select the action event now what will be the action event to import a user so let's click on this import user and then we have to set up the connection so for that let's click on connect for building this connection you can see we have two options add new connection and select existing connection if you have already created an existing connection with riggy you can just go with that but i am going to show you that how you have to create a new one so to create a new connection let's go towards add new connection and you have to provide a token over here to get this token the instructions are given over here enter the key here log into your riggy dashboard on the left side you will find the option of dash board and under dashboard you will see integrations so now i will show you each and every step to get this key as well this is our riggy dashboard okay after coming on the dashboard here we can see the option of integrations after coming on integrations here we have the option of pably and we have to enable this pably option by toggling this button right i have already done that so now this is the pably key which is required let's simply copy it we will move back and paste it over here in this token field let's click on save and the connection between riggy and pably connect is built successfully now after building the connection we have to enter the details in these fields full name email address phone number product hash etc in order to create the user so let's start with the name we have to enter the details in these fields in such a way that the data should get replaced automatically with every new response as we are creating the automation so we are not going to sit and change the details every time with a new response okay we have to make the data dynamic so that it could get replaced automatically to do that instead of entering the details manually we will use mapping so here we need to enter the full name you can see that this is my previous response in which we have received all the details first of all here we have the first name i will select it then with a the space i am going to map the last name over here and in this way i have mapped the full name of the lead okay so when we have mapped this name it has become dynamic that means with each and every new response automatically it is going to replace in a similar manner let's map the email the phone number as well okay then the product hash product hash means the course in which you want to add this user enroll this user so i will go towards product section and you can see that these are the courses i have i want to enroll this user in php programming course so we have to go towards the course section and over here we can see the option of offering key this offering key is a product hash which we require so let's copy and paste it over here okay done now let's click on save and send test request button quickly 
And as we have done that, you can see that the response is captured and it is saying yes. This means that the user is successfully added. So here we are going to go and search for the user. We'll go towards the user management section. And yes, here we can see recently a new user is added with the same details. The name of the user is first name, last name. We have the email and the phone number as well. This means our connection is successful. And when we'll go towards the purchase section, we'll go to our course section. This particular student is enrolled in this PHP programming course. So here our automation is successful and also the connection is built. Okay, so what we have done, let's quickly summarize. We have Take in Google Ads and trigger and regain action. And we have set up the connection between these applications in such a way that every time a new lead will be received through the form submission in Google Ads, automatically that lead will be enrolled as a user in Riggy in a particular course. So I hope this automation is clear to you. This was just a test account which I have used in Google Ads. But in your case, you have to use a real one in a similar manner as I have told you. So I hope this automation is clear to you. Also, it is helpful for your business. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such amazing applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the rate pabli .com. If you want to ask any doubt, you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask about the pricing, you can visit this website given over here. Do not forget to share our videos, like our video and also subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.